Happy holidays. Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca and I've got a great solution for gift packaging for those gift cards you give out over the holiday season making a really cute gift card holder. Um, this is really quite simple and I've got all the measurements over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com, so you can whip these out no problem. I also have all the list of supplies there you can purchase right on my website. I also have a shopper rewards program for those of you who shop through me and use my host code, you earn points towards getting a free stamp set from me. So there are details for that down below in the description along with all the other uh, links I mentioned. Let's get started. Look how simple this is really. It's just a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter cardstock with a fold element on the top and a little pocket. So easy. This actually will fit inside an envelope if you want to send it or you can hand it in person. I'm going to be using the Christmas Scotty bundle. So um, it cuts out that little dog on the front, which is so cute and has all these other cute little things. And I'll show you how to use some of those. You're also going to need your favorite uh, designer series paper. This is the Sweetest Christmas. It's got so many great little designs. What's awesome about buying a pack of designer series paper is it all coordinates with each other. So it makes all this mix and matching like a no brainer because everything in the pack is gonna match each other. It also comes with the colors that go with that set. So that is what, sorry, reaching across. I'm gonna be using Real Red, Garden Green, and Pool Party. I'm gonna use the card stocks and the inks and it's all gonna match. So the first thing we're gonna do is punch out our cute little dog. You just need a scrap of paper that is wide enough to uh, punch out your dog. And then for the bow, you can punch it out just like this, but I'm actually gonna stamp on top of it and I'm gonna use this fantastic plaid stamp that comes in the stamp set. This is gonna be great for all year round uh, stamping, not just Christmas. Um, so I'm just gonna stamp on top of there to give a great pattern and then we will cut it out. Let me show you this. Isn't that adorable? And we'll just glue that right on top of him. So the next thing we're gonna do is stamp the inside parts of our card. And so you need a basic white piece, a three by four. And just choose one of these little doggies that you like and stamp that on there. I find it easier with this big stamp to bring the stamp pad to my stamp and I really want to look at this um, and make sure it is nice and coated. I'm looking for any empty spots and just tap tap tapping that. And then when I set this down I'm going to actually let that sit there for a sec so that the paper soaks up all that ink and you get a nice crisp image. Now this set comes with now this set comes with the little collar so you can stamp that on there. And I'm just going to I just like to keep my simply chamois right on the other side of my stamp set when I know that I'm going to be switching out my stamps a lot. Then it has this little thing. <laughs> it looks like a thing, but it's actually the bow that just goes right there so it looks like he's got a little ribbon on him. And now we're going to give him a little present to hold. That's that piece. And this little ribbon goes right in there. Then he's going to be saying woof woof. And then we'll also put some little snowflakes. Uh oh, that didn't come out very well. Let's see if I can line it back up. Oh, it's a little smudged, but I think I'll be okay. Okay, so now grab your other piece of white and we're gonna be making the pocket for our gift card. And you just need a little piece of designer series paper. I don't remember what it is. Uh, three by two is the measurement of this. Um, all of these measurements are over on my website, but this, this print and make project sheet just goes to my email subscribers. So if you would like that, you can sign up for my email list. There's a link down below. So for this pocket, we're going to put glue on the two short sides and one long side. 
and we're not going to glue that directly down. We want to have some space for our gift card. So you're going to lay your gift card on top and then lay your pocket on that, making sure it's lined up flush on the sides and the bottom, and then just press that into place. You could also use um, tear and tape or any other adhesive that's going to be nice and strong to withstand <laughs> taking the gift card in and out. So I like to really press on it and then make sure I didn't stick my gift card to the bottom. That happened to me once also. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is just put a little stamp right here so that when they take out the gift card, there's a little message and I'm gonna put the Merry Christmas from that stamp set right there. So I wanna have it kind of down where it's gonna be covered up by my gift card. All right, so let's check it. Yep. So I've got one more thing to stamp. We need to stamp our sentiment. And so if you want your sentiment to be um, this width exactly, um, I've got that measurement for you. Uh, three inches. I also measured out the Merry Christmas in case you wanted to use that one. That one's two and a half inches long. Now the width is not going to matter. And I'm going to show you why. I mean, you can measure it if you want, but I thought this is, this is the easy way. Cut your width like this. Stamp your stamp towards the bot, the base of it to get it nice and straight along the base. And then we're just going to trim the excess so that we don't have to measure. So then just put this in your paper trimmer and trim it down. And that way you can just adjust it. Now we're going to, did I get that straight? Yeah, I think we're good. Now we're going to layer it on top of another piece of cardstock that is also measured at three inches. Um, the width doesn't matter. If it's too big, you can trim it off. This actually looks pretty good. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to say, hey, I want it to be a little thinner. So I would just throw it in my paper trimmer and just trim off the tiniest bit. And I trimmed too much. <laughs> oh, gosh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get another piece of scrap. I should have left it alone. My scrap was actually the perfect size. Who, who does that? I don't know. So here, so I'm going to cut this down to three inches. And then you can see, okay, that is too, way too ginormous. And so I'm just going to guess at where I want it. And so like, I feel that's still a little too big. So then I take a little trim off. So I don't know, maybe I find this easier than actually finding a measurement, especially if it's like a 16th measurement. But um, if you want to do it a different way, of course, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to glue that on. And I just want to make sure the edges on the sides are nice and flush. All right, so now it's time to put this thing together. I mean, wasn't that fast? Now you've got a folded part and you put the, oh no, did I do that wrong? That was not what I planned. Oh yeah, it is. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> now, before we glue this on, you can definitely um, just glue it just like this and it'll fit your guard, but I'm going to put just a little embellishment. I am going to cover this with a little bit of green ribbon. This comes in a pack of two, Garden Green in Real Red, which matches perfectly with, um, with this designer series paper and a bunch of other uh, Christmas ones. So I'm going to just trim off a little piece here. I think it's like five inches long. And we're gonna lay it across the front, flip it over, and we're just gonna tape it on the back. I think that adds just that really, just that little detail that makes it so special. And now we can glue it. Now we'll fold this up and glue this onto our card base. And you want the fold to be in line with the top of this card base. And then this edge in line with there. And then press it down nice and good. I'm actually going to flip it over. Make sure it's really adhered on there. The last thing we have to do is put our little Scotty dog on the front. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I just love it. I'm going to pop mine up with dimensionals just to give it a little extra oomph. I've got one more example to show you in case you don't want a dog on the front of your card. Um, I'll show you how to use your designer series paper on the front.
If you've had your eye on this bundle for a while, get it now because um, it's only in this catalog, the mini catalog that ends in December. Um, and so you won't be able to buy it as a bundle at 10% off anymore, or it might not be available if they discontinue it. So these are the cutie patootie patootie ones. I just, I think that is so adorable. Now let me show you this one. I used just the designer series paper. I did use the sentiments from, from that, uh, Scotty dog, but you could use whatever you want on the front. And for these candy canes, I just took my designer series paper and cut out these large images. So if you're using a different designer series paper, if it has large images, you can just cut them out. And I decided not to glue mine down because I thought that was so cute to be able to wiggle them around. And if you give this to a kid, I think they would love taking these in and out. <laughs> Before you go, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up button. You can also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.